Well, welcome to South Dakota. Uh, we're taking a day off from fossil hunting today. We're going to do a touristy thing. It's supposed to rain this afternoon and be nasty, so we thought we'd get out and do something fun today rather than get stuck in the Badlands when some rain starts. So we're going to do some uh, touristy stuff in South Dakota and uh, should be coming up on the on the Black Hills on the horizon here pretty soon. And it should be a fun day. Say hi, Steve. Hi. You were supposed to say hi, Steve. Follow directions. <laughs> ghost town. Passing through the ghost town of Ardmore, South Dakota. Just across the Nebraska, just across the border from Nebraska. Not much left here. Still a few people living here. Come through here at night, you see some lights, but pretty abandoned. Ah, yes. One of my favorite stops, we go up into South Dakota. Rock shops. We're going to hit some rock shops. This is the first one. I've already got a pile inside started. Good stuff here, let me tell you. Good stuff. And not expensive either. A $2 table. There's ammonites on this table. There's ammonites. Ammonites, plus all kinds of great minerals. Jaspers, agates, ammonite again. Mica, all kinds of stuff. And this is just the outside. This is just stuff they keep outside. High-end jewelry on the inside for the most part. Dollar table, great stuff. We got Turritilla. Yeah, petrified wood, coral, tourmaline and matrix. Cool stuff for six bucks. Much bigger pieces over here, but look at the prices. They're very reasonable. Some of this stuff's gorgeous. Glad we brought a truck. Yeah, look at this stuff. Alright. Let me head inside and settle up with the proprietor. Great stop. If you're on the highway to Mount Rushmore, check them out. Whitaker's Rock Shop. Wind Cave National Park. Driving through. Bison. Tatanka. Lots of prairie dogs. Lots and lots of prairie dogs. Do not roll down the window. Bison has the right of way. He's a young one. Losing his winter coat. Shaggy. Mm -hmm. His testicles are about the size of a baseball. Very big. <laughs> <laughs> he says, Come over here and say that to my face. <laughs> but you know when you're comparing that to Florida's 95 degree days and the lightning we get, I, it's hard for me to believe that 
hard for me to understand that the, as cool as it is, that it makes that much lightning to have lightning flash. Well, that's such a great angle there. Peter <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> now you really want to feel guilty if an eagle swoops down and grabs one here. It's like, hey guys, what's going on over there? What do you got? Aren't you cute? the next stop on our rock shop tour of South Dakota. We've been here before. We like this place. Rocks and fossils. Is that $610 or $610 a pound? $610 for the piece. I like this one actually. They may have a they may have a policy. If you can carry it out, you can have it. Yeah, like a parts uh, uh, seven thirty yeah. truck yard. Yeah, carry. yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Always got to look out the look, always got to look around the outside before going on the inside. Those are probably off. Let's see, we got a. Big bin of zebra rock, big bin of peridot, and a big bin of seashells. Well, we are very far from the nearest ocean, so they are kind of a novelty here, but we're from Florida, so we're pretty well stocked on seashells. Black obsidian, lots of black obsidian. Petrified wood. Well, I got some good deals on petrified wood here last year, but I stopped at the Dobell Ranch just before coming out here and loaded up on petrified wood there. So I'll have to see if there's anything spectacular in here. I think they sell this stuff for like a dollar a pound. So I'll look for anything spectacular, but I did really good at the Dobell Ranch. So I've got a lot of petrified wood right now. I'll put a link to the video of the Dobell Ranch in the upper right. Check that out if you like. So what do we got here? Hematite, Turritilla. Everybody's got Turritilla. I already got some Turritilla at home. I've sliced and diced and polished it. See the fossils in there? The fossil shells? Neat. Talc. Feels like talc. Slippery, greasy feeling? Yeah. Specular hematite. Rary agate, oh yeah. Look at that. Tourmaline in matrix again. Everybody around here's got it. This looks like calcite. 
Selenite. Selenite. Okay, selenite. And just assorted rocks. And it goes on and on. And on and on. And on and on. And on and on. Truck. I just barely, maybe sideways. Hey, I can see the you get it in stuff. there, I'll buy it. Okay. There's forklift over there. Assorted rocks, a dollar a pound. What a deal. I mean, heck, that, that slab of polished granite right there is worth a lot more than a buck. Wow. Dollar a pound. Look at all this. Dollar a pound. You get a pallet load of petrified wood for a dollar a pound. Nice. Well, I knew this was one of the shops that sold the Homestake Mine core samples, but I think they've raised their price. And at 50 cents each, I, you know, I got some gold out of them. I'll put a link to the video in the upper right where I got some gold out of these, but really, at 50 cents each? Nah. No, 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 no. Don't think so. So, we're still, we're just leaving the rock shop here. My wife likes obsidian. She likes obsidian to the tune of 50 pounds of obsidian. So, see, there's the only thing I bought right there, about four bucks worth, but uh, that's a nice piece of obsidian. It'll look good in the rock garden. She's happy. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs>
Australian Jasper and some Tiger Eye. I'm going to try cutting those both up and polishing them and see how that comes out. And of course inside they have all the high-end already polished jewelry quality stuff. It's a little little cramped and crowded and noisy in there so I didn't film anything. But uh, the backyard here definitely worth a look if you're in the area. There's some good stuff here. It's a good thing we brought the truck on this trip, because we're going home with a whole lot of rocks. Definitely going home with a lot of rocks. I love that mookite. Got some of that at the last shop. I think it was prettier there and less expensive. So light. Very cool. Well, there's a really cool junk shop next to the rock shop. So we're all in here looking around too. This is this is fairly amazing. You got to you got to stop here if you come to that rock shop. There's full of antiques and just crazy stuff. Wow. So if you are in Keystone, South Dakota, you really need to visit the Rock Shed. If you're at all interested in rocks, minerals, fossils, whatever, it's amazing. But I'll tell you what, once you're done with the Rock Shed, you just walk next door. Try not to get run over here. Just walk next door and check out the Haley store. It is incredible in there. If you're into antiques, old stuff, old music, old books, um, just Americana of the last century. Uh, they also have ice cream, food, wine, and beer. So check them out. It's, it's, it's incredible in there. We spent probably an hour, hour and a half in there exploring the place. Uh, fantastic. So check those out if you're in Keystone. So here's all the stuff I bought at Whitaker's, our first stop. Um, I kind of, I kind of ran the tables outside. Um, it's like their two dollar table, three, three, four, five dollar table, and then the most expensive piece was I got from inside is twenty five bucks. So this looks like some interesting jasper I got for like two bucks. I think this will polish up pretty. I could probably get a few more slices off of it too, possibly. I am not certain what this is. It's pretty. It's gemmy. I'm thinking I could take some nice slices off of this and polish it up too. Um, but you know, for like three bucks, I couldn't pass it up. Um, here's a here's a a solid geode with one edge cut off. Three dollars. You know, it's pretty. I can get some more slices out of this and polish it up. Cut them thin, they'll be translucent. If they're polished, it'll be really pretty. Um, look at this. Got some dry head agate there. Got some agate there. Got some agate over there. Agate there. It's agate everywhere. You know, for like four bucks. You can't turn down dry head agate for four bucks. Here's another one. This one I think I paid five bucks for. Nice nodule with agate in the middle of it. And then over here, the thing I paid 25 bucks for. Oh, this is this is some serious dry head agate here. Yeah, look at that. That's nice. Oh, and then my wife got a tiny little fair burn there. But I think altogether we got out for under 50 bucks. So not too bad for all this stuff. Under 50 bucks. Whitaker's. Nice place. Stop there if you're on the way to uh, Mount Rushmore, passing through Hot Springs, South Dakota. Stop in. You'll be glad you did if you're into rocks. So the second rock shop we visited was Dave's. And we've been to Dave's 
I think every time we go into South Dakota, we stop at Dave's. Um, I didn't pick up too much this time because last year I left Dave's loaded down. And, um, well, my wife was buying big stuff this time. So we got about 30, 35 pound piece of obsidian, which I can't show you because it's in the other truck. But uh, um, that's going in the rock garden back home. Um, I actually cut my finger moving that obsidian's very sharp. I should have been wearing my gloves. But anyway, what I bought was a $4 piece of interesting jasper here. I'm thinking, you know, there are hints that there's some good stuff inside this rock. If I cut this ugly crust off the outside, I mean, there's, you can see some color right, bands right there. So, you know, for 4 bucks, I figured I'd take a chance on it. Cut it open with our Lortone saw, see what's inside. And then there was just a bin of random rocks, dollar a pound random rocks, outside of the front door at Dave's. And I'm looking through it, and I find half of a nodule with some dry head agate in it. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. I keep looking through the bin. I find another half a nodule with some dry head agate in it. And guess what? They're parts of the same nodule. So, I take it inside to the register. I said, this came out of your dollar a pound bin. He puts it on the scale. 75 cents is what I paid for this nodule with the dry head agate in it. 75 cents. Such a deal. So yeah, if you're in South Dakota, you need to stop at Dave's Rock Shop. Okay, it's on the way to Mount Rushmore. Can't miss it. They got a huge sign out by the highway. Check them out. I think you'll find something there that you got to take home with you. So our next stop on this magical mystery tour of South Dakota rock shops was Ken's Minerals. And look what I got at Ken's Minerals. I got this big piece of mookite. I've seen people doing good stuff with mookite online. Um, and uh, they had a good selection of mookite at Ken's. So this one cost me 44 bucks, which was a little pricier than I wanted to pay. But I'll tell you what, this is a nice looking piece of mookite. Mookite is an Australian jasper. And... I think this is going to be really, really pretty cut and polished. Look at the colors in that. It's kind of amazing. So I see people do good stuff with mookite online. Let me try my hand at it. For 44 bucks, well, what the heck? How often do I find such nice-looking mookite? Might as well get some. And then the other thing I got at Ken's, look at these. I got six nice, polished agates. You know how much I paid for these six nice, polished agates? I paid a whole five bucks for them. And I'll tell you how I did it. Because any one of these is worth a lot more than five bucks. Um, there's bins of rocks out in front of Ken's. And one of the bins, you know, and they're just full of all kinds of rocks. Full to the brim with all kinds of rocks. You can just dig through it to your heart's content and, you know, pull out rocks. They're priced at a buck a piece or six for five dollars. So I'm looking through the bin, not finding much, not finding much. And then, oh, wait a minute. Look at this. There's a beautiful polished agate in this bin. So I look around some more. Oh, here's another one. Oh, here's another one. Oh, yeah. Actually, I found seven polished agates in that bin of just random rocks. And, you know, I grabbed the six nicest looking ones, took them up to the register, paid my five bucks, and hey, I got six really nice agates for five bucks. That, that was a find right there. Yeah, so if you're in the area, check out Ken's Minerals. It is just down the street, like a quarter of a mile on the opposite side of the road. From Dave's. Hey, hit them both. If you're a rock nut like me, you got to hit them both, okay? Hit them both hard. You'll find something to take home with you. I guarantee it. So the last stop on this magical mystery tour of rock shops of South Dakota was the Rock Shed in Keystone. And I'll tell you what. I have noticed that the closer you get to Mount Rushmore, the more expensive the rocks are in the rock shop. But you know what? If you look you can find that the quality tends to go up, too. All right, so got some good stuff at the rock shed. A little pricey. Don't remember exactly what I paid for this stuff. I should have kept the receipt. Be a tax deduction. I'm working here. Um, but uh, this is this is tiger eye. I think this was like six bucks a pound, and this is like uh, three, four pounds of tiger eye. So I don't know if that iridescence is showing as I rock the rock back and forth. It's amazing. It's, this is a rough rock. It's not cut, it's not polished, and it still shows the tiger eye iridescence in there. I don't know if it shows anything better on this side. But this is going to be amazing. 
if I cut and polish this, oh, this is going to be an amazing rock. Just crazy beautiful. I can't wait to can't wait to do that. And then this is a, another Australian jasper. I had mukite at uh, at the last place, but this is a different Australian jasper. I had to pick it up. My wife's a big fan of Australia. She's been there. And she says, I got to go back with her someday, which, hey, I wouldn't mind going to Australia. But uh, yeah, so we'll see what's inside this. This is, I don't know, this is like three, four bucks a pound, and it's eh, three, four pounds. I figure it'd be interesting to cut it and polish it and see what it looks like. So, so that was our last stop, the Rock Shed in Keystone. And everybody had a really good time. Um, you know, normally we go up into South Dakota, we take a break from fossil hunting, and we go to Mount Rushmore, and or we go to the Crazy Horse Monument, and we go to some fossil museums. And, uh, well, this time we decided to do something different. We decided to just go check out all of the rock shops we could find, and there's some junk shops, too. And we found some really neat junk shops, let me tell you. we got to go back to one of those, because, you know, the one right next to the rock shed here... That, that, we'd barely scratch the surface on that place. They could, he could take a month to look around in there and find all the goodies. So, uh, yeah, everybody had a good time. It was great to do this uh, tour of rock shops in South Dakota. And we didn't even hit them all. We'll have to find some next year that we missed. Anyway, we had a good time. I hope you had a good time watching this video. If so, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to see my future videos. There's going to be more videos because i got to cut and polish all these rocks once I get them back home to Florida. Cut them up in my lower tone saw. And i got to wrap this video up because it's starting to rain. So, anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see those future videos, and check out my second channel, Electro Geek 64 If you're at all interested in electronics or retro computing, you may find something of interest there. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching this one. Bye.